and I'm going to work through an example which uses time series data to make predictions. Here we have the pollutant levels in units per cubic metre over a period of time and to begin with the readings are taken every six months but the later readings are taken every three months. So in order to construct a scatter plot we need to convert these months and years into numerical values. We'll call this variable n and because the later readings are three months apart we'll work with each n value being a three month period. So the first value is 1, but then because July is 6 months later, not 3, the next n value is 3, 5, 7, and now we go to 3 month periods, so n can increase by 1 each time. This can now form the horizontal axis of our scatter plot, with the vertical axis being the pollutant level. Now I'll plot the points as usual. The first one is 1, 2.04, 3, 2.09, and so on. Now to make a prediction of a pollution level for another date, I first need to calculate the linear regression equation. Having entered the paired values into my class pad, I can calculate the linear regression and we have a very strong correlation coefficient of 0 0.99 and a linear regression equation of y equals 0 0.07x plus 1.9. Now to predict the pollution level for July 2016, we need to work out what the n value for July 2016 will be. July 2013 has an n value of 19, so we're predicting three years later, which means increasing n by 12, because there are four n values per year, giving us an n value of 31. So once I've plotted the linear regression line in my graph app and go analysis g solve ycal 31, the calculator reports that there's a domain error. And this is a good little clue to say that we're not interpolating, we've gone outside of the original domain. Now I can still return a value by zooming out. And repeating that procedure to get a y value of 4.19. Let's go back to our graph and plot that linear regression line. The calculator returned an equation of y equals 0 0.07 x plus 1.9. We're not actually dealing with x's and y's here. Let's say that our pollutant level will give that a variable name of p and we already have a variable for time which is n. Of course we could use t or anything we like for that variable. So plotting p equals 0.07n plus 1.9 that will have a vertical axis intercept of 1.9 and a gradient of 0 0.07. So as n increases by 1, p will increase by 0 0.07. As n increases by 10, p will increase by 0 0.7. So that tells us that 10, 2.6 will be on our linear regression line. Now to predict the pollution level for July 2016 with an n value of 31, you can see that this is way outside the domain of the original values. And when we do this, it's called extrapolation. And the problem with extrapolation is that it assumes the linear trend 
will continue. So we can give our value of p equals 4.19, which we read from the calculator earlier, and that's units per cubic metre. That's our predicted pollution level for July 2016. However, due to the extrapolation, we say that this has questionable validity. And that's our comment on our prediction. Just a few notes to conclude this lesson. Firstly, time series data may be seasonal. For example, let's say we took a reading in January of each year and we had a trend that looked a bit like this. Using these points, it looks like strong linear correlation. However, it may be that in the interim months, the data looked something like this. We just need to be cautious about assuming a linear model and take into account any factors that may cause the data to be seasonal. Secondly, correlation does not imply causality. Just because there's a relationship between two variables does not mean that one causes the other. In the example we've just looked at, it's fairly obvious that the passage of time alone does not cause pollution levels to rise. There are clearly other factors at work. But this is a general comment when working with bivariate data. Correlation or an association between two variables does not imply causality. And thirdly, extrapolation has questionable validity. Just because we have a linear trend so far does not mean that that linear trend will continue. It may start to decrease, it may start to increase exponentially. And the further away from the original data that we make a prediction, the less valid our prediction is likely to be.